Howdy folks, Paul Erickson with a tutorial on how to download and back up all of your Facebook life. That's right, all of your photos, all of your videos, all of your posts, your comments, the whole shebang. And I'll show you how easy it is. Before I jump in though, would you please, if this video has been helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Now let's get started. In the upper right hand corner of the Facebook website, and by the way, you can do this from any page in Facebook. I just happen to be on my profile page, but you can do it anywhere. Click on the account icon. It's the one that's all the way in the upper right. And then you're going to come down to settings and click that. And then this next, or excuse me, I should have said settings and privacy. And then you want to click on settings. Once you get to this screen, find in the left-hand column your Facebook information and give that a click. And then finally, in this next screen, you see this section, download your information. It looks like you have to come all the way over here and click view. You don't. You can click anywhere on this row to get to where all, this, where all the action is going to take place now. This is where we're going to download your Facebook backup. Now this introductory paragraph up here can be confusing. If you don't know what JSON is and HTML and all that, just stick with the defaults, which is HTML. If you download a JSON archive and you don't know what JSON is, you're gonna unzip or, or decompress your archive and just have a bunch of gobbledygook you're not gonna know what to do with. HTML is going to be a lot easier for you and it, it's a very well organized archive that you'll, that you'll be uh, downloading. So for most of us, the default here, all my data, format, and media quality, I can just click Create File. But if I do that, everything from, the, from when I first opened my Facebook account until today is going to be downloaded. I might not want that. I might want to decide to uh, do it in years, year segments, uh, or month even where I'm only interested in a certain time period so I don't have to go searching through an, an entire huge archive depending on how long you've been on Facebook. So there is that option, which is nice. For most of us that just want a complete backup for whatever reason, whether you're migrating off of Facebook to another platform, whether you just want the peace of mind of knowing you have a backup of everything, or you're ditching Facebook altogether, whatever your reason is, Chances are all my data is, is the way you want to go. Format, as I said, you want to leave as HTML unless you're like a web developer and you know what JSON is and you can work with that, uh, then that's up to you. But chances are you're not, you're not watching this video if that's the case. And then finally, media quality, high. I, I leave it on high. And the reason why is, for example, if you have a really good uh, camera on your phone, you're not going to be downloading the same resolution is not the exact image that you uploaded because Facebook is not in the storage business. So they're com they compress all of the images that we upload to our Facebook profiles and so on and so forth. Now what you'll get is the highest quality that's available, but it won't be the same as what you originally uploaded. But if you've lost the original photo, then this is at least the next best thing that you can get. So. I always choose high just because, yeah, it's going to result in a bigger sized file archive, but but at least I have a better quality photo uh, in case something happened to the original. So as I said, I can create click create file, uh, but some extra options here that you should be aware of. So you can choose uh, any of these options in this list here, and there's quite a few here. But just to give you an idea of what this is all about, I'm not enrolled in a university or college. I'm not a student currently. So therefore, I'm going to unclick campus because I don't need the extra uh, folder and data that it's going to download and cluttering up my my uh, archive. But if you are a student and your Facebook account is connected to uh, your campus, then you probably do want to leave that selected. Uh, rewards, I don't even know what that is. So chances are I probably don't want it. Um, for sure, I think most of us are wanting to deselect ads and businesses, add topics that are relevant to you, advertisers who have collected information directly from you. Now, you may want that just for tracking purposes, but as far as a backup is concerned, an archive of just your stuff, I choose to uncheck that. 
and probably interesting to a lot of folks is location. Um, if you travel and you like to tag your location, if you're uh, an outdoors type of person where you like to hike or, or a bicycle, that sort of thing, or you like to keep track of where you meet people, where you met them, uh, and that sort of thing, then you probably want to leave location checked. If not, and you don't want the extra clutter in your archive, then deselect it. And you get the idea. You can go through all of these and figure out what do I want to keep and what do I, do I not need. If you only want photos and videos, for example, I can click deselect all and then just click photos and videos and that's all I'm going to get. But for this purpose, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to do the whole backup and then I'm going to click create file. Now what's going to happen is obviously we got this notification here, but I'm also going to get an email shortly that's going to tell me that the backup process, the archiving process has started. When it's done, I'll get another email to tell me where th that it's ready and where to download it. I'll also get a pop-up notification in Facebook if I happen to be in Facebook at the time. Now, I can come back here at any time. I'm done with this screen, so I can close it. I can turn off my computer, whatever. It's all happening on Facebook servers. Um, for any reason, if I haven't gotten my email yet, or I'm afraid maybe it got stuck in the spam folder, for whatever reason, I can come back to the screen and then click on the Available Copies tab. And you can see I've got a history of other um, backups that I've created. It tells me the size that they are, uh, a little summary of what they are, so on and so forth, and give me, gives me the ability to download it. This one I've downloaded previously, so it's saying I can download it again. They're going to hold on to this download until November 15th, which is only three days away from the time of this recording. So they're not going to hold, it on, hold on to it forever because, again, they're not in the storage business. Um, but it should give you enough time to, to download that. The last thing you should know is depending on how long you've been on Facebook and how many things you've uploaded to your Facebook account, your file size, the file size of your archive could get pretty big. So mine is only 13 megabytes. This is my business Facebook account. I don't upload a whole lot. I do more posting than uploading of photos and so on. But my personal Facebook account clocked in at over two gigabytes. I've been on Facebook a long, long time. Now, if you're, if you're, for example, a photographer or you upload a lot of videos and that sort of thing, then your file size could obviously go up as well. So keep that in mind that your file size could be really big. And the reason why I say that also is because when you are ready to download your archive, make sure that you have a good connection and make sure that you have plenty of space on your local drive. Uh, so that way you can can be able to save it and have the peace of mind that you have everything you need. All right, my friends, that's it. It's as simple as going up to, to the account menu, clicking on settings and privacy and following through to this download information page and choosing what you want. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. If it has, please, again, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you on our next video. And remember, be smart. Be good, be humble, right now. God bless.